Hi, I'm Mr. Simon, and in this video, we're going to look at what are the effects of inflation. In terms of the effects of inflation, we're going to look at a couple of different areas. Well, actually more than a couple of different areas. This gives you an idea of what we're going to be looking at. The first thing is to look at how does inflation affect economic growth? So the relationship is working this way. So the idea is that if prices are increasing at an unsustainable rate, that's going to put the brakes on economic growth. This is because the government is going to have to do something to try and slow down inflation. So essentially the government is going to have to do this. The other thing to think about is that if inflation is going up, that's going to change people's decisions in terms of an economy. For example, if prices are going up and up and up and up, businesses are less likely to invest. They don't know what's going to happen in the future. If prices are so unbelievably high in the future and production is not going to happen, why would they invest in very expensive capital equipment? The other thing to think about is that if I know prices are going to be more expensive in 6 or 12 months, then I'm going to spend right now to make sure that I don't have to pay higher prices. So what that is going to do is it's actually going to make inflation even worse. Let's also have a think about how inflation will affect wages. So the idea is that inflation is going to have a big impact on wages. So if inflation is going up, workers want higher wages. Well, they need to buy things that are more expensive. And that's going to create inflation. This is what's known as a wage price inflationary spiral. And that's a real term. It's not Mr. Simon's just making this up because he feels like it. Take a look at this chart here. So what happens is that number one, prices rise. Number two, the cost of living in an economy rises. Number three, workers ask for higher wages. They want to keep up. Number four, the cost of production rises. If the cost of production rises, well, companies are going to charge more to cover that and then prices are going to rise. So an economy gets stuck in this cycle and this cycle is the wage price inflationary spiral. Very good to know, excellent to include as a diagram in your essays. Okay, the next thing is how will inflation affect income distribution? In general, if prices are going up and up and up, that's going to affect in a negative way the spread of income in an economy. So the big problem here is that that those on low incomes cannot keep up with the cost of living. If you think about it a bit further, if I've got a fixed income, so I can't earn any more because I've retired, that if inflation is going up and up and up and up, and those savings or those pensions are not keeping up, I'm going to be behind as well. It's going to be a difficult situation. Also, if you think about it, if inflation is going up and up and up, well, savings, people that rely on savings, they might lose out as well because typically savings earn relatively low interest rates and they may not keep up with inflation. So people on low incomes, those on pensions and those rely on savings might see the value of their income and wealth go backwards, which would be a negative for income distribution. So think about these groups. Let's have a look at inflation and its effect on unemployment. To think about this, we need to take a quick step back. If inflation is going up, the quick solution or the short term, term solution is to stop inflation getting any higher, which is to reduce aggregate demand by slowing the economy. And the way we do that is through So we're going to try and slow the economy through contractionary fiscal or monetary policy to try and reduce inflation, particularly monetary policy. I mean, interest rates are really uh, effective in trying to slow inflation. But 
if we try and slow inflation, that's going to reduce aggregate demand, reduce economic growth, and potentially lead to higher unemployment. So if we try and slow inflation and slow the economy, we're likely to increase unemployment. So let's now look at inflation and its impact on international competitiveness. So international competitiveness is kind of like the success of a country's exports on world markets. And in general, the cheaper exports are, the more successful they're going to be, the more other countries are going to buy them. So the idea here is that high inflation will result in cost push inflation, which will increase production costs and make everything produced in Australia more expensive, including exports. And this will make Australia's exports less competitive, so less successful on overseas markets. So higher inflation will reduce international competitiveness and reduce sales of exports. Let's think about inflation and interest rates. And quite simple is that higher inflation will lead to higher interest rates because organizations like the RBA are going to try and slow down inflation. So you might think about this word quell. This is just a fancy way of saying slow or reduce. And we're using it in this context to talk about inflationary pressures. Likewise, if there is low inflation, that's likely to lead to lower interest rates. So basically higher interest rates are used to reduce inflationary pressure. So in this video, we've had a look at the effects of inflation in these one, two, three, four, five, six, six key areas. Um, as always, leave us a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, check out some of the other videos. You might want to go back and see the earlier discussion about inflation and as always, thank you for watching.